for the 18 year old listening in what is a hilbert space a very quick definition sure <laughs> so a hilbert space is a vector space a vector space means a collection of mathematical things that can be added together to get new things still in that set or space and multiplied by certain kinds of numbers called complex numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are some basic ground rules that this vector space is supposed to have. The rule for adding vectors together is supposed to be commutative. It's supposed to be associative. Multiplication by numbers is supposed to be commutative and associative and distributive. There's supposed to be a zero vector that does nothing. Every uh, vector is supposed to have another vector that when you add them together, you get the zero vector. There's some basic ar arithmetic ground rules. This makes a vector space. To be a Hilbert space, you need a little more. You need a rule that lets you take two vectors, two elements of this vector space, and combine them to get a complex number. And this rule for combining them is called a dot product or inner product. And this inner product is supposed to have certain mathematical features consistent with the structure of this being a part of a Hilbert space. So it's got to have certain properties when you, for example, interchange the two vectors. If you take the two vectors and reverse them, you're supposed to get the complex conjugate of what you had before. This inner product is supposed to have a property called positive definiteness. It has to have the right kind of distributivity property called sesquilinearity. It's supposed to have a, a number of properties. And this Hilbert space is not supposed to have any holes in it. Holes, like H-O-L-E-S. There should be no gaps in it. If you have a collection of vectors uh, that you can arrange in like a line, Imagine mentally you have a, a sequence or list of vectors in your head and the vectors appear to be getting closer and closer to approximating some vector. And you could imagine this list going on forever and getting ever closer to some vector. If that ever happens, we say we have what's called a Cauchy sequence. And the end result of that Cauchy sequence is supposed to still be a vector in this vector space. Then we say that this is a so-called complete vector space, and a Hilbert space is a complete inner product vector space over the complex numbers. Hilbert spaces have some dimension. The dimension of a Hilbert space is essentially how many different vectors you can have that you can't make out of each other. So a three-dimensional vector space is one where, like in 3D space, you have three vectors, you can draw three arrows, and it's easy to come up with three arrows where you cannot make any one of the arrows out of the other two. Mm-hmm. Any two arrows will define a plane, and then any vector that is not in that plane cannot be made out of those two arrows. Um, so this define and, and the, the 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 maximum number of such vectors that are different from each other and cannot be constructed out of each other by adding them together, we call this the dimension of the vector space. Since the Hilbert space has some dimension, okay. So we'll bracket that off. That's yeah, and, and and so quantum state is 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 some object that lives in or on this Hilbert space. It could be a, a vector in this Hilbert space, but more generally, it's what's called an operator, a density operator on the Hilbert space. Got it. This gets very technical, so I'll just move that aside. 